The research that we're presently looking at is to make environmentally friendly membranes because membranes today are made using solvents. And solvents can be harmful in terms of dermatitis, in terms of uh, other conditions like headaches and can have other harmful effects. Plastic membranes are essentially microporous plastic films, so they have very tiny pores inside them, and they're semi-permeable. That means certain very small molecules can be transported across the membrane, and then larger molecules are prevented, so it acts as a barrier. So where do we use it? What are the applications that you use membranes? They're numerous. Uh, one is in effluent water recovery. For example, uh, these filters are used in water purification plants to separate the drinkable water from harmful things like bacteria and pathogens. So we are looking at making membranes that do not use solvents. So the first step was to make a, a membrane that is unique, that is not out in the marketplace today. So we looked at blending two different plastics, which are polypropylene and polysulfone together. Polypropylene is hydrophobic, it does not like water. Polysulfone is hydrophilic. And we found a compatibilizer, something to zip the two polymers together to give improved mechanical properties. Typical properties of improvement are tensile strength and ductility, how the elongation would break. Now, the second part of the research was to make them environmentally friendly. So once we made these films using a twin screw extruder, which is basically a very large mixer with two screws inside, mixing these two uh, plastics intimately together, we made films out of these materials, and then we put them in an instrument and we stretch these films. As you stretch the film, the middle part of the film, we introduce some cavitation. So these are the micropores uh, that are introduced using the um, traditional cast film membranes. So we were able to produce pores which are of the size of one to two microns. And that's where the research is going. And we're looking at the next step at not only uni actually stretching these films, but by actually stretching these films to introduce further pores.